was a bad intro. Hey guys, uh, got in a really good conversation last night with a really nice cannabis grower. And uh, let me back up here. And it was about whether to wind the coil clockwise or counterclockwise. We all know what that is now. So I'm going to go around the yard and I'm going to show how I've coiled my my sticks. So you can see here, I'm I'm saying that's clockwise. That's wrapping around this way. So as you can see, everything's alive. Everything's growing quite well. The other thing I thought too was that these coils would make like a dome kind of thing and they'd stop, but apparently they grow past it. So, so that's a clockwise. Go over here. That was also brass and copper. You can see this one here is counterclockwise. I hope I'm getting this right. And it's just copper. But you can see everything seems fine. Nothing's dead. It's been three weeks. So let me go get another another counterclockwise. I found out with my tomato plants. that this apparently is counterclockwise. Yeah, we put in a new new bed for our squash and cucumbers for later. It's really cool. It's like a hundred bucks. So anyway, get back over to the tomato. We've we've I'm gonna have to show you all this. We've added because the tomato plants are growing like nuts. So, anyway, look at this one. So, I just woke up, guys, so I'm not thinking too straight right now. Let's see, counterclockwise. It's going that way. And as you can see, everything's still alive and doing quite well. It's June 3rd or 4th right now, I don't know. And I've already got a run of tomato. Actually, I've got one, two, three, four, five. At the beginning of June. But that's definitely, that's definitely a counterclockwise. It's going from the top down, it's going that way. And that is definitely not dead. So, leave your comments. I'm trying to figure this out. You guys have a great Sunday. Bye.